So you were just explaining. So the difference between clastics and carbonates. Yes. Okay, so sediment, both sedimentary rocks, mm -hmm. both would be termed sedimentary rocks, but different components of the sediment. So a uh, uh, clastic is made up of usually quartz or feldspar rock fragments. They're, they're small sand particles that have consolidated into a rock, mm -hmm. like large particles, then it's more like a conglomerate. Uh, it can be fine, fine particles, it's more like a shale, but that would be termed a clastic, so mm -hmm. they're clasps. Of, of pieces of rock that then make up a, a different rock, a sedimentary rock. Carbonates are a, a different beast, so they're biogenic, so they're either from organisms that secrete calcium carbonate, so like things that live in the ocean, uh, things that might live in soil, they would secrete a, a carbonate. So there's uh, a different look and feel to carbonate rocks, so they're, they're either dolomites or limestones, um, they would be something that um, usually they're, they're, the, the type of porosity we see there is very different too. So if you imagine uh, reefs would be a carbonate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the organisms that built the reef, there might be a slightly different composition than the surrounding uh, carbonate that sort of entombs them, mm -hmm. uh, then that fossil itself would dissolve out in a different way. And that can create a hole or a space, we call those a bugs. Um, carbonate is, tends to fracture more easily than a, a clastic rock would, so our pore space is usually made up of uh, the matrix porosity, which is just between those little fine grain particles, which mm -hmm. is sort of tighter usually than our clastic. The vug space, which is these huge big pores the size of my fist or even larger, can be caves, um, and then fractures. And so, so you're talking about a different porosity system in carbonates. Mm -hmm. In clastics, it's the small space between the grains of sand. And it, it doesn't sound like much, but it adds up to, to a lot of space. If you imagine, uh, you know, uh, this room full of sand, you can still put a lot of water in before you, before you fill all the pore space. And it's all that pore space is what we hope in the underground is full of pitch.